a sharp edge on, on some of these pulleys, okay? Uh, that's in behind, so you should be, you know, no problem. Your hand, if the guard is on here, this cover's on here, there's no way you get, should be able to get your hand down in there unless you're doing it on purpose, <coughs> okay? So what you do then, because this is spring-loaded, you just loosen this off and let it pop out. You see it came out there? See, I can push it in and out. It puts the tension on the belt, okay? And then this has a, this shaft inside has a flat on it, so it aligns it properly. And even if it was out a little tiny bit, turned a tiny bit, it's not gonna hurt anything because there's enough length on the belt that it'll accommodate for that. So snug, snug that up nice and tight, okay? Make sure this is nice and tight. You don't want it coming loose. And now we'll put a cutter on. So what I'm gonna do is, where's my cutter? Right there, okay? I'm gonna fix this cutter on here, okay? Uh, they only go on one way. You tried to put it on this way, it obviously does not work. So you can't put, it's kind of idiot proof, you can't put it on backwards. Um, this can go either direction, okay? It should, because this chamfer right here, I'll point at it, only is, is so high, it only comes up into this wheel part way. You want to put this uh, locking nut on with this chamfer down. So it has full alignment on the shaft, okay? If you put it the other way, as long as it's tight, it probably wouldn't be a problem, but this just gives it double the amount of shoulder to work off of. So you can probably spin this in most of the way just with your fingers. Get my big fingers in there. Then you use your wrench like so. You Grab a hold of it. Actually, I find it easier to do it like this. Spin this until it locks. Mm -hmm. Okay, it just locked there. And then you gotta tighten this thing up. So you can lay it right on the bench, make it easier. Oop. Just about out of there. I think one thing on this wrench is the pin should be longer, slightly longer on this one. If you look at this one, it's shallow. So the wrench goes in there, no problem. You know, you got lots of lots to work with. But this here, it just, well, it catches there, not too bad, but it's still on an angle. I think this wrench could be a little longer. Okay, I got it locked now. There we go. That's nice and tight now. So that's all ready to go. And uh, put the side handle on. You can either put it, actually this one, there's two different threads I've got here. Okay, we'll put this one on here and we'll try it like that. Make sure it's tight that it ain't gonna come loose. Okay. Uh, so those are the two multi-cutters that we're gonna test. And we've got a piece of butternut, nice piece of butternut, and a nice piece of red cedar that we're going to work with. Okay, so we'll just put all these extra tools, 4-inch guard, Allen wrenches, rings, little spanner wrench. Uh, like I say, you'll need a crescent wrench or a, a adjustable just to tighten this pulley onto the grinder to make sure they're tight. Okay. Uh, if you want to move this, you can use a scrunch. Anybody that's a chainsaw carver knows what a scrunch is. If you want to reposition this, okay, what you do is take your bigger Allen wrench. I'll just cover this before I go on to the other tools. You loosen this off first, your, your cap screw. Make sure it's nice and loose. And then what you can do is hold on to the grinder and you can spin it like that. If you just loosen it a little tiny bit like that and, and open that up. Some grinders will fit super tight. Some are a little bit looser that you, you don't have to worry about that. Put it in the position you want and then tighten this up. You can hear it's nice and tight. Okay, so both of those are good to go and we'll be demoing those in, about, in a little while. Uh, the other tools that uh, Mampa Tools Jack for Kyong Min.
sent me was the hole cutter. So this one here is, I'm not even 100% sure what the diameter is on it. The two inch, okay? So if you come in close on these, you can see the round carbide cutters. Uh, very much the same design as these, okay? I think the cutters, well, they might even be the exact same size. So you have three cutters again. And again, the geometry of this, the height of this edge versus the height of this edge is how much each one of these cutters will chip off every time it cuts. It chips off that much and then it releases it. So these can be a very smooth tool also to work with, okay? Uh, machining looks very well, very good quality, okay? Uh, no sharp burrs or anything like that. Now that one doesn't go directly on the angle grinder. You have to have one of these adapters and it comes with it, okay? So this screws into here and you'd use your wrench, wrenches to tighten that up and then you'd screw that right on the end of your angle grinder, okay? And uh, what I'll do, actually, I'll grab another angle grinder. One second. So it's just standard angle grinder, okay? So you lock your lock your spindle, you screw this on, and if you just take and put your adjustable wrench on the outer one and tighten it up, you're good to go. So there's the hole cutter. There's also extensions, okay, for them. There's a, a one there. That's, that's for this little one, and there's another extension there, and I think you can buy like six inch extensions for them also. But I wouldn't want to extend the tool too far away unless you have to reach down into a hole or whatever. So this you could use, it'll cut basically from there right to vertical like that, okay? Either direct, you know, either direction. Uh, as far as quality, it looks like the quality's here. They seem to care about what they're doing. They're doing a good job. And uh, they're looking for feedback from the chainsaw carving and power carving industry to what they can create for people that works good. And uh, I'd highly recommend them. Okay, good quality. Thank you very much and hope everything's clear there. If anybody has questions or anything, you can post them or email or, or call me or whatever. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye for now.